Hello, everyone. Good evening. How's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup here with our Tengu of Trog. Neo, good evening. No, of course not. I'd never say that. You just have, Neo, impeccable timing. All right, so... This is our reboot of a reboot of a reboot with our Tengu uh, trials, I'll call it. So we've been trying to get this win with the Tengu, and it's not been easy. I've had to revert to my old ways of being a berserker just to feel like I might even have a chance, and the early game will probably be pretty easy, but as we get later, it's anyone's guess. Nice guy. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. <laughs> Neo, that's not weird. That's called wonderful. All right. So where are we? Where are we with this? We are... Um, Wearing, we have a plus four war axe of flaming, which is pretty good. We've got plate. We have a plus two pair of gloves that have strength plus three. We have one ring. It's protection from fire. We're 12th level. We're on dungeon nine. We have 20 AC. Fail. Good evening, my friend. How's it going? Good to see you. We are currently training axes all day. We have trained a bit of armor and shields and fighting. And we're also training evocations so that we can use our wands to more effect. Teladaga, good evening, my friend. Good to see you as well. All right, so we're going to go down these steps and... Uh, oh, that's right. Okay, so on this floor, there's Josephine and Snorg, and both of those are difficult. We have one blink, two teleports, and some fear and a fog. Let me identify this potion. It's cancellation. Okay, so Josephine does indeed get wrecked by lignification. If we can get close to her, we can kill her with lignifying and just hitting her with our axe. But if she moves away, we kind of have a problem. So we might try that as a strategy. We had to take out an orc here that had a plus one dire flail of distortion, and we did it without getting cast into the abyss, which is nice. And here's Snorg. Okay, so the thing about Snorg, let's examine Snorgy. Snorg is a corpulent troll with a, sort, a short temper and a sizable gut. Uninterested in the orb, hilarious that Snorg is here, Snorg delights in the endless parade of adventurers, that is, easy meals it attracts. So Snorg is here for the food, and the food is us. All Snorg can do is go berserk. Um, it's a one-trick pony. Or she's a one-trick pony. But, uh, it's a heck of a trick. It's our trick, actually. So, what we want to think about is... Can we hex her in some way to make this easier? Vale, this is a game called Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. It is a classic roguelike game. Um, it's a free-to-play game that you can Google and play to your heart's content. It's roguelike, so that means it's procedurally generated. It's like a turn-based RPG. But if you die, it is permadeath, and your character is gone forever. All progress lost. We are trying to dive down, get the Orb of Zot, and escape without dying. Teladaga, I love that blast of wisdom. It's true. Snorg can do that. Snorg doesn't even need a club. 
Snorg is just going to use her troll claws, and that's terrifying. Now, we can... Yeah, it is scary, Vale. Uh, we could try to polymorph her at a 26%. That's not great. We can also drink Might, Haste, and then go Berserk and just fight Snorg and see if we can win. But we have four pips of Loyalty, or I should say Piety with Trog. So we could indeed try to summon a brother in arms. We have a very high rate of failure on this ability, so it's not great. I think what I'm going to do is just drink a bunch of stuff here. I'm going to go Mighty, and I'm going to go... Uh, I'm not going to do Haste, I, actually. I'm just going to try to summon a brother in arms. Oh, we got one, which is terrific. And then Snorg is Berserk, and we are also going to berserk. You can see that Snorg is one tile away, but the turn that it takes us to go berserk uh, should be the turn that it takes Snorg to move next to us, so we're ready to fight when she gets here, and our berserked ogre buddy should move into range as well. We are berserk, and Snorg is berserk, and our ogre is berserk. This is a corridor of pure rage everyone you can see the screen is blood red and we're just gonna try to attack snorg is hurting us we're down but you can see snorg is getting more hurt than we are it says there's a little bit of a hit point bar below the enemy that it might be hard to see but it's there in fact and you can also read the text box to get a good sense. Our ogre has just hit Snorg with its giant spiked club. We closely missed Snorg, but then we tried to kick and missed. But then we pecked Snorg with our beak, which is amazing. Uh, and Snorg is severely wounded. So that means Snorg is really hurt. And then we blocked her attack with our shield and then she hit us but did no damage twice which is a mercy well now we're getting hit really hard we're about at half health so things are in a very scary and precarious situation but snorg is almost dead so we just need about one more hit and we got it and Hey, Teladaga the Bard coming in strong tonight. I like it. Teladaga says, pluck the victory, swoop Snorg's life away. You are the free-spirited fighter of flight. Exactly. I'm an angry bird. I'm flying in there, pecking it with my beak, my clawed, my talons, I should say, and swinging away with an axe. Hilarious. Indeed. Okay, I'm going to, while I'm still berserk, um, I'm going to move away and go up the steps. Now I'm slow, and I'm going to go back up and rest. We don't want to fight Josephine in that condition. All right, and let's see if Snorg dropped anything for us. No, but really the key is that we killed Snorg. All right. Okay, so these wraiths are generally the property of Josephine, I believe. So I don't mind fighting a wraith one-on-one, -on -one, but I don't want to fight it with Josephine right now. I'd love to fight her one-on-one. -on -one. See, even that wraith is hurting me a little bit, which is kind of unsettling. All right, there's a centaur. That's not really a big deal. And a troll. Okay, that makes it more complicated. We're going to run around the corner. Um, and I'm just going to play a game with this centaur, and we're going to lose this game, which is the line of sight game. Yeah, the centaur is not going to come closer. I'm going to go up and rest. Hopefully the centaur will move by the steps. It did not, but it moved close enough that I can go right here, go berserk, and kill this troll and the centaur together. You can see that that happened um, in two hits. That's how strong we are when berserked. Unfortunately, our piety has slipped back down to three stars after that brothers-in-arms, but it was well worth it 
to kill Josephine there. I'm sorry, Snorg. Josephine remains to be killed. And there she is. God, that's awful. Okay, I'm going to step right here on this one-way uh, hatch in the ceiling, this escape hatch. I'm going to pull the troll up. Oh, my God. Where am I? Oh, what a disaster. That's hilarious. Okay, I have to... Uh, back up and fear and teleport so this is funny there is a little like I don't know if you can see this on the map but there's a big body of water and I couldn't get here because I can't fly with this oh no I can fly I don't know why auto explore didn't go down here anyway I can fly over here and there's like a little vault of a frost giant which is extremely hard plus an electric eel an ice beast and a troll this is way too much for me to take right now um and i teleported right into it pretty scary <laughs> you know what teledaga that's the kind of attitude that's the kind of swagger that i need right now is the unbelievable confidence of an emperor penguin all right so my teleport should kick in while these guys run away that was a really good fear scroll we even got the electric eel so far away so we'll just wait wait and we teleport over here and we're okay it's true but what you do snack man good evening by the way snack is you just say that can't happen. You just... Delusion is the confidence you need right there. You refuse to accept that outcome. Now, I had to use a bunch of consumables there, which is frustrating. I have a chance of surviving. Oh, wow, I could survive with one hit point if I took a max damage shot. Yeah, and you'll notice I have no resist cold, and I don't have a potion of resistance either, so that's a scary situation. Okay, so now, oh, you know what? The reason I didn't auto-explore is because there's a statue of, of cold or uh, ice. There's an ice statue here that is making this area... Uh, excluded for travel. Ori, hello, my friend. Good evening. How you doing? So, I never went down here because of that. Alright, well, the good news is those enemies are pretty much sequestered over there, and as long as I don't make it my business to take escape hatches, I should be okay. Uh, let me pull this wraith away solo if I can. You did, Ori. How was it, my friend? I am borrowing a family member's HBO Max to see that movie myself. While they... I'm excited. I hope it is as good as I want it to be. All right, I'm going to bring this wraith over here. There we go. And here comes Josephine. I don't know if her ghostly fireballs can go through um, the fungus or the plants. I hope not. Oh, Ori, that is awesome. You saw it, IMAX. I love it. I'm going to try and get her close. I'd love to fight her without the wrath. I see, Snack. I'm going to try to move up and lignify, but I need her to be in range. All right, she's in range. Okay, so we killed them, 
We killed Josephine, which is great, but the wraiths are a little bit confusing. 25 minutes of ads? Yeah, that's about right, isn't it, Ori? Movies are crazy. They, I mean, like, I don't know when they started doing this. It's been years, I know, but hear me out. The fact that movies now just play regular, like, car commercials and cell phone commercials, just standard commercials, it's not even just premieres for or promotions for new movies coming out or existing movies. It's like just regular fare commercials is so disgusting. Can I Trog's hand while a tree? I can. Got him. Are Jack in the Box commercials good, Teladaga? I'm, uh, like, in the Midwest, so we don't get jack-in-the-box commercials. I'd love to see some, though. I guess I could YouTube them. And here's the lair. All right. So, the lignification worked surprisingly well. Ooh, and Maurice. All right. And we killed him. They're buck wild. That's hilarious. So the food's bad, Neo, but the uh, commercials are good. That's funny. That's a good way to think about it. I'm in. I'm in. I do want to try a Jack in the Box burger just once before I shuffle off this mortal coil. I'm down for it. All right, so there was a, a cloak and the human corpse of Maurice, and I do not have a cloak, so let's get Maurice's cloak, and let's wear Maurice's cloak. <laughs> Hilarious, Teladaga. An anime one where the guy was climbing out of a bear's rear. Now that is a good ad. Nick Man, hello. Well, we, we've we been dispatching of some named foes, so that's nice. Oh my gosh, it's a fellow Tengu. Oh no, this got really bad really fast. As long as the battle sphere stays down there, I think I'm okay. Yeah. I'm closing the door, and I'm running away. <gasps> you are, Nick, man. You are. It was a little scary. It was good. One Tengu Conjurer I can take. Two scary, but we ended up being okay. Seven James Bond's ads. Nice. <laughs> I do, nice guy. You know why? I trained fighting up to level nine already. I'm going to do axes and evocations a little bit longer. The plus zero staff of battle. That's amusing. <laughs> I love it, Teladaga. Teladaga has, is like the motivational speaker for the Tengu right now. And trust me, the Tengu really, really needs it. Oh, Cyclops. Cyclops could wreck us. You found a battle axe called Trog's Anger? Now that sounds like a good axe. Oh, Rick also saw Dune, Ori? Cool. Yeah, Rick loves sci-fi. That doesn't surprise me. It's knockoff Wrath of Trog is the battle axe snack. Good evening, Fading. How you doing? Oh, fading. You know what's happened so far is I've died so many times as a Tengu that I'm just channeling my rage. You're you're rocking out to new boss mu music in uh RuneScape, Nick Man, and dying horribly? Well, at least the music's good. 
he says that he reads Dune every year, Ori. Dune is an amazing book. It's quite long, um, but it's really, really interesting. The The science and the geology of the book is fascinating. I, I enjoy the book myself. Oh, okay, Vale. Thanks for stopping in, my friend. Have a great one. Always good to see you. Oh, Ring of Ice. Okay, well, that could help with the Frost Giant if it comes around again. Yeah, so I'm just going Berserker... Because I just want to see if getting hit points makes this work. I don't know. Thank you, Vale. Uh, I don't know. Evocations is looking pretty good. I don't know how much more I need to put in this. Fading, it is this it is the button I push to to get my win with a kobold. I tried winning with a kobold doing the enchanter stabber root and just couldn't make it happen. Went berserker, sealed it. Trog and I understand each other, and by that I mean Trog is the easiest god to understand. Oh, that's interesting. They changed it. You got that right, Teladaga. When in doubt, get your rage on. All right, one more floor of the main dungeon should be enough for now. Let's just see how this is going. Oh, it's a buddy. A boulder beetle. All right. Uh... We're blasting this boulder beetle as it gets here. Okay. And that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I'm running away, by the way. That is brutal. Can you abandon a Reaper quest and get a new one? There's level 13, at least. All right, so we have some fire resistance, which is helpful. Okay. Um... All right, so we got to get axes to 16 to get min delay. Let's try to do it. Hey, Teladaga. My record is wave zero. No shame. I'll tell you what I need, everybody. An artifact axe of some kind. Ooh. All right. This is a fun little group. I got to tell you, I want to see Marvel... Eternals, just to check it out. I will see Matrix Resurrection. And I'm going to see James Bond and Dune. I'm going to see every movie that you mentioned eventually. It may take decades, but it will happen. The centaur just mowed me down. I need a necklace. That would be helpful. Give me that reflection necklace. Oh, Doom was pretty good. You liked Blade Runner better. See, and that's because... so um, that's They're both by the same director. Because Blade Runner 2049 was insanely good. Like, one of the best science fiction movies of the past 10 years. Amazingly. At least in my opinion. Loved it.
All right. I think it's safe to uh, turn off evocations for now. And I'm just going to do my... I'll go back into shields. What do I have? I have this buckler. Man, I need a kite shield. There's a bunch of things I need. I need kite shield. I need necklace. I'm going to use this enchant weapon scroll on my uh, war axe. Well, God. Base damage 13. Base damage 11. It's true. I'll put on this ring of evasion. I don't know why I didn't have it on. <laughs> That's hilarious, Ori. Matrix within the matrix. All right, so the question is, should I switch to this broad axe of freezing? And the answer is probably yes. It's just a better axe. And then just keep the war axe of flaming around for hydras. So let's wield the broad axe and let's enchant the uh, broad axe. Matrix exception indeed. It's pretty funny. Now, does that qualify as deja vu? So that it, like, if you see Matrix within the Matrix, does that mean that they've made a change? I don't even know if that applies to the new Matrix. Like, I, I have no idea what the rules are for that one. Oh, you went with your dad to see Dune, Ori? Awesome. Yeah, I, I want to get back to the theater at some point. Okay, so this is Dungeon 12. And I'm not going to go down in the main dungeon anymore. I could go to the lair, or I could go to the orcish mines. I do not have resist poison with this Tengu. I have resist fire. So we could step down into uh, the orcish mines a bit. I don't think I'm going to do very much of this. Oh, that's hilarious. Look at this group. All right, they're coming. Well, nothing wrong with that. You have seen it. Oh, awesome, Ori. Have fun, my friend. Have a good one. It takes a while to download that game. It's a big one. Oh, they put a shop up here for me. This could be helpful. Oh, my. Oh my, this is a dynamite shop. Two enchant armors, two enchant weapons, two teleports, and two identifies? Sweet fancy Moses. So I just click buy all of this stuff, actually. Yep. Thank you. I don't really need to identify, I don't think, at this point. Potion of magic, very important for us. Oh, interesting. Enter the Matrix. How was it? Sounds bad. Oh, it's appealing to my ethereal bird senses. All day, every day. I'm going to enchant the heck out of this broad axe. And then let's enchant the armor on... Oh, I guess our cloak... And this should help us be a little bit more stout for at least a second, right? So it's, we've got 24 armor class now. We are training. Oh, so funny. You know, Teladaga, I have a friend who loves playing old, bad games of that era. Xbox you know, PlayStation 1, 2 kind of games. He he was playing through all of the, like, 
Star Wars games from Xbox, including the Pod Racer games, just really, really questionable. <laughs>